ಶ್ರೀ ತಪೋವನ ಪರಮ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ಸದ್ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜನ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣೇ ನಿರತ ಕರುಣಾಮಯ ನಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದೇವಂ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರ ಹರಿಓಂ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ವೆರ್ ವಿ ಇನ್ವೋಕ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ವೋಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಅಶರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ವೋಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರ ನಾಮ ಅರ್ಚನಾ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೋಪ್ no matter what has happened yesterday no matter what has happened today tomorrow can always be different tomorrow can always be better and if we have something to look forward to we can make our life most fulfilling and satisfying <clears throat> so there are various times when our heart is filled with enthusiasm energy inspiration many festivals are there many celebration occasions are there this gregorian calendar today it ends tomorrow new calendar begins one more occasion to renew ourselves to commit ourselves and that's the beauty of human life that we can continuously change consciously continuously change <clears throat> change otherwise happens in the world in prakriti it anyway happens change is the changeless law but we can consciously change for the better we can evolve higher and higher so one very beautiful quote i read it is not enough to have more and more it is important to rise higher and higher in life and so how do we evolve higher and higher how do we ensure that we manifest our potential how do we do something where we challenge ourselves a new year can be new only when we do these things how do we challenge ourselves how do we break out of comfort zones what is the new thing that we will try from tomorrow onwards what are some old patterns and habits that we want to break <clears throat> otherwise human life is such you know it is said by many psychiatrists 60000 thoughts we think in a day and out of that more than 55% of the thoughts are what we thought yesterday we just carry forward think about it psychologically we carry forward so many thoughts memories regrets anxieties and every day these occupy our mind if you are able to reduce these thought patterns live in inspiration live in joy live in with a higher vision then like puja guru ji said every moment will become new for us whole spiritual knowledge is to help us to live in inspiration every moment otherwise inspiration comes in spurts and we are very inspired and after some time you know we are attending this camp three days and spiritual knowledge and satsang and everything and you feel very inspired that yes i am going to do it i am going to study i am going to read the gita beautiful values of 16 chapter i am going to live it and two days after the camp is over you may even start you may even study you may even join a class one week it will go on after some time what happens the so called pressures of life they build up they take over and then one postpones and again one is back into the same rut so how do we ensure that we don't fall into a rut we live in inspiration at the same time we live in discipline that's the beautiful balance that vedant tells us if you look at puja gurudev's life 42 years he served tirelessly he served and there was a certain part of his day which was fixed this kutia you see here every morning whenever he was here he would wake up early write 100 250 letters a day reply to so many people and it's not one type of letters 
some child has written to him so he has to answer to a child in the language the child can understand then a youth writes to him a skeptic writes a question to him he has to change his thought process and answer him some elderly person sometimes is saying about some home issue some other challenges he has to reply to them some brahmachari some swami has written about center problems he has to reply to them just think about his mindset his clarity how quickly he would change and for 42 years he would do this write letters reply to people do a morning class evening class that is standard in his life and did not become boring at all somebody even asked him 42 years swami ji was speaking on the gita every day are you not bored he said i derive my inspiration from the gita every single day he would speak on the gita so some part of his life was fixed and through the day so many other projects and programs and service of the society so how do we gain that balance vedant teaches us very very beautifully so new year that is something that we must think about for ourselves what is something new that we will attempt one value one quality that we want to start implementing new new year resolutions turn into dissolutions very fast so one important purpose of doing this celebration is our will power may be weak sometimes but god's grace is very powerful so we invoke god's grace saying bhagwan let my day from tomorrow onwards a new day new year let me be a new person and please bless me with the strength that whatever resolve i take whatever resolution i take i must fulfill that with firm determination so that's where we invoke the grace and what we are going to do is one of the most powerful sadhanas there are lots of sahasra naams lalita sahasra naam is there shiva sahasra naam is there vishnu sahasra naam of many many sahasra naams vishnu sahasra naam is considered very very powerful and it has become very popular also where is this vishnu sahasra naam found it is found in the bhagavad gita i uh, sorry in the mahabharat in the anushasanika parva and it is a conversation between bhishma pitamaha and yudhishthir and imagine bhishma pitamaha has been pierced with arrows all over his body he has fallen on the ground resting on the bed of arrows waiting for uttarayan to happen he wants to drop the body only at that time excruciating pain one small pin goes into our body not even it has to go in somebody just pokes and how much we react and here arrows have pierced his body he is lying on the bed of arrows at that time bhagwan krishna has told him told yudhishthir that go the royal sun is going to set he is an abode of knowledge wisdom experience learn from him about dharma so whole shanti parva is there in which so much knowledge is given by bhishma to yudhishthir raj dharma is there moksha dharma also is there many different types of dharmas are explained in that conversation in that yudhishthir asks him some beautiful questions so if you take your book um here you will find see page number 1 last shloka if you see in that page number 1 yudhishthira uvacha kimekam daivatam loke who is the supreme lord in this whole universe kimekam daivatam loke we believe in god being nameless formless attributeless brahman manifesting in so many different forms so many times one gets confused which form and a bhakta wants to know that whether the form that one is worshiping is supreme or not so yudhishthir is asking for the benefit of all kimekam daivatam loke who is the supreme form kimva pyekam parayanam whose refuge should we seek when we seek refuge you know surrender when we do when we seek refuge we find rest 
suppose there is lot of heat then when we go below a tree we find shade we find coolness we feel happy the heat we are saved from so a tree can protect us in the world when we go through so many afflictions subject vegetations outside difficulties challenges what is that one who is refuge if we take we find peace strength happiness knowledge love so he says who is that whose refuge i can take and you know it's very important whose refuge we take our potential manifests according to that what is my altar of surrender in ramayan we find that hanuman ji as long as he was serving sugriv was he able to do anything extraordinary he was very ordinary person but when he found bhagwan ram and he surrendered to the lord then the extraordinary powers in him started manifesting so here yudhishthir asks who is that lord whose refuge i can take one whose refuge we take should be such that our potential can manifest and we become from ordinary to extraordinary we let go of our limitations our self limiting thoughts so he says kimba pekam parayanam six questions he asks second question is this third one stuvanta and fourth one kam archanta whom if i glorify whom should we glorify stuvanta kam that we will attain the auspicious we will attain the best prapnu yur manava shubham whom should we praise in the world whose praise we like the most our praise if somebody praises us it is so sweet to hear it is so lovely but in our culture what do we say siyavar ramachandra ki pavan sud hanuman ki sadgurunath maharaj ki may bhagwan be glorious always may we always sing the glory of the lord the victory of the lord is what we are interested in the praise of the lord the stuti of the lord because truly bhagwan alone is praise worthy who is infinite is praise worthy we are finite entities our whole life is not even like a small fire flight it, it just we pop into existence and pop out considering the whole creation very small life span bhagwan is the one who is infinite so who should be actually glorified is bhagwan so he asks here stuvanta kam so either we glorify people who from whom we want favors we want some you know approvals some benefits so we glorify them for our benefit or we glorify ourselves here he asks whom should we glorify stuvanta kam kam archanta whose archana should we do then ko dharma sarva dharmanam bhavata paramo matah what is the supreme dharma of all different dharmas which are there what is the supreme dharma and kim japan muchate jantu by chanting repeating doing japa of what do we become free from what janma samsara bandhanat from the sorrows and afflictions in this world so six questions he asks and in answer to that bhishma pitama narrates this vishnu sahasra naam and beauty of this is krishna bhagwan is standing right there in front of bhagwan he had the blessing of reciting thousand names of the lord imagine his bhakti and his bhavana also in that excruciating painful situation he is able to answer and he gives this whole beautiful vishnu sahasra naam so in the first shloka we will just see rest of it anyway we will see the name so he says jagat prabhu dev devam the supreme lord of the universe is the lord of all the lords dev devam anantam who is infinite purushottama he is the supreme purusha who is in the hearts of all stuvan naam sahasrena that purusha we have to glorify we have to do the stuti we have to do the archana we have to do the japa we should remember that lord and by doing that we will attain what we want to and we will also be free from all afflictions purusha satato thitah 
that will help us to evolve also see what we are going to do is what gurudev taught us when we do vishnu sahasra naam each one this is called samuhik vishnu sahasra naam each of us are doing this and when we do something as a samuha samashti what happens everybody is chanting creates a divine atmosphere creates tremendous vibrations energy it helps all of us and if you know in our scriptures what is said the beauty of doing it as samashti is what the punya that is generated by each one gets collected suppose we are like let us say 200 people here 200 people generate let us say 100 units each one generates 100 units how much it is 20000 units of punya we generate how much do you think each of you will get you will not take only 100 units of punya each of you will take back how much 20000 that is the power of samashti sadhana when we do and that's why gurudev used to encourage samuhik vishnu sahasra naam archana this you can apply for any sadhana samashti sadhana so today when we are doing it together we are invoking that grace that much more one aspect and we are doing little different today we are not chanting every name and offering the uh flowers and the rice that is given to you we will chant the stotram itself with at the end of every stotram you can offer so there will be a puja that we will do and as a part of the puja the chanting will happen and if you see the phala shruti what is the benefit of doing this vishnu sahasra naam so after the stotram is over you see page number 17 long list is given what all one attains through it i am not going to go into all the details but here it is said that whoever chants this gets all the blessings is protected from many of the evils one who wants spiritual knowledge will attain spiritual knowledge one who wants to have courage bravery will attain that one who wants to have wealth prosperity will attain that one who wants pleasure enjoyment one will attain those things one who wants to follow dharma steadfast one will attain that dharmarthi prapnuyat dharmam artharthi chartham apnuyat wealth a person wants one will get that any specific desire one has kaman avapnuyat kami one will be blessed with that if one wants a child prajarthi prapnuyat prajam if somebody wants bhakti like puja guru ji said may our bhakti be stronger then this will bless with bhakti also this is fifth one bhakti man ya sadothaya then yasha prapnoti vipulam one will get lot of glory fame lot of things are given here any one has any health issues you know many people chant vishnu sahasra naam and they become healthy by just chanting and there is documented evidence is available for it just by chanting vishnu sahasra naam so many planetary challenges which one has those get averted those get solved by chanting vishnu sahasra naam so this is a very very powerful stotram and with great devotion we will do this invoke the grace of bhagwan